NBC 5 Stephen Biddick joins us now from the newsroom with why some are calling the timing of this effort a bit odd. Stephen. Yes, Brian and Liz. So the Vermont Democratic Party started a fundraiser for the thousands of Vermonters that will be affected. The lawmakers are questioning the timing and intent because the Vermont legislature is controlled by Democrats. And some say if they really had the best people's interest in mind, the funding would have been included in the budget all to begin with. Multiple progressive and Democratic lawmakers took to social media to express their opinions on the fundraiser, saying there were clear options to create a more humane transition process. Other legislators say it is unfair of the Vermont Democratic Party to place the blame solely on the Scott administration when both sides of the aisle played a role. The fundraiser also uses wording such as, quote, deliberately screwed up and that Scott is, quote, blocking immediate action. One representative expressing frustration and says at the end of the day, this all could have been avoided. I was pretty appalled. I think that was pretty heartless to be trying to fundraise and point only the fault in one direction. What, what should be really happening right now is legislative leaders um, sitting down and saying we're going to figure out a solution. We're going to figure out how to put our best foot forward and prioritize Vermonters and not fundraising for a political campaign, a political party. And in response to the wording used by the Vermont Democratic Party, the Scott administration said in part, quote, it is very unfortunate that the state Democratic Party has increasingly resorted to the desperate D.C. style attack playbook that continues to tear our nation apart. This is one of the many reasons Vermonters continue to overwhelmingly support and vote for Governor Scott is because he refuses to engage in such tactics. And NBC5 did reach out multiple times to the Vermont Democratic Party for response, but never heard back. And tomorrow in Montpelier, the governor plans to address the hotel motel program rollback and what his administration is doing to help. But for now, live in the newsroom, Stephen Biddicks, NBC5 News.